To write the name for COCl3, we can see we have a metal and then these nonmetals here. So we have a metal and a nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. And we have this cobalt, the metal, it's actually a transition metal. So we need to take that into account when we write the name. So we'll start and write the name for CO, just as it appears on the periodic table. So we have cobalt, then we write the name for the CL. So we do a lowercase c, and at this point we have cobalt chlorine. But for the chlorine, we change the ending from INE to IDE. This gives us cobalt chloride, but we said cobalt is a transition metal. That means it can have a different ionic charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to three chlorine atoms. Chlorine, each one, has an ionic charge of one minus. So we have this one minus, and we have three of them. Three times one minus, that's three minus. The cobalt has to be three plus. And we're going to show that by putting a Roman numeral three in parentheses between the cobalt and the chloride. That makes the name for COCl3 cobalt three chloride. In this three, this Roman numeral three, that reflects the ionic charge on the cobalt. This is Dr. B with the name for COCl3, cobalt three chloride. Thanks for watching.